Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing an, a review of an ink from Standard Bindery. Um, Standard, this is the ink I'm talking about today. It is Road Trip. Um, Standard Bindery is a retailer from Queensland, Australia, uh, and they used to be book binders online, and then they rebranded as um, Standard Bindery. Now, as book binders online, they had a range of inks um, on the theme of snakes and things like that. And uh, when they rebranded, they uh, well, they've now got their new line of inks under the Standard Bindery name. Uh, this is how they come packaged, uh, and I think it's actually really, really nice. So. Uh, there's six inks in the collection. Um, I've got a few to look at, and this is the first one I'm looking at, which is Road Trip. Um, nice, simple craft board packaging, um, the simple label on the front. Uh, I love the, the, uh, the standard bindery uh, like packaging and labeling and stuff. The design, I think, is really nice, and they do a lot of it in-house, which is great. Um, so this is the bottle it comes in. Nice glass bottle with this square bottle, but with lovely rounded corners. I think it's a really nice, uh, simple uh, bottle design, simple label on the front, 60 mil bottle, um, fountain pen ink. Wide enough opening for most, uh, you know, for most pens. And uh, you can get a nice sense of the color there as well. So let's look at it on paper and uh, let's see what my thoughts are. So here it is on Rhodia. Um, this is a Santa Rodeo 80 gram paper, um, and as you can see, it is a really lovely green. Um, I have it in one pen, uh, the Diplomat, I've had it in a couple, this is what I've got it in now and used for the review, which is the Diplomat uh, Excellence A2 with a steel medium uh, nib. Not super wet writer, but really reliable writer, uh, and hence why I used it for this review. So, um, as you can see, like, it is a beautiful sort of meadow green, if you will. Um, I said here, it's a really nice warm, but vibrant green, beautiful meadow green. Nice shading, good clean ink uh, with no shimmer or sheen. Uh, not super saturated, but perfectly weighted. What I mean by that is that it looks good on any paper, even in this lighter form, which you get occasionally on like cheaper paper or with drier pens, you can still read it perfectly and it still looks, you know, really, really nice on the page. But then, but as you can see from, uh, sort of the darker shading here, you get a lovely darker green uh, where it you know, pulls a bit more. So, um, let's put some water down. I'll show it to you on some other paper and uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, let's put a few drops down in here. See how that holds up to a little bit of water. Let's look at it on some other paper. Let's start at the bottom uh, with the most affordable paper that I use here, which is the Plain Student uh, Notepad from Spyrex. And you can see there the ink looks pretty nice on the page, actually. There's very little feathering. Um, and, you know, this is not fountain pen friendly paper at all. Uh, the colour is a little bit more muted and there's less shading, of course, because the paper is much more absorbent. Um, but on the back, you can see there's like actually very little comes through. There's like, you know, there's a bit of show through and a few spots where it, it bleeds, but that's actually pretty good, but particularly on this sort of paper. Then if we move to the 80 gram copy paper, which is like, um, I think it's Reflex brand, um, you can see the same sort of thing. It's, it's sort of a more muted colour, a little bit sort of dull perhaps, but still perfectly readable, perfectly fun. Oh, very little, uh, you know, feathering as well. And uh, bleed is pretty, pretty good, I've got to say. Then what I've got here on is Tomal River. Now this is in the Elia Note. Oh, no, bump the camera, good job. Um, you can see there, it's got a nice sort of, um, nice lot of shading there on the swab. Um, those darker shades looking nice and some nice light shades there, but no sheen or anything like that. Um, and of course it performs well on this paper. This paper, you know, is designed for fountain pen or ink use. So there's, um, you know, there's no feathering. And if you look at the reverse, uh, there's a, a bit of ink came through from the swab, of course, but from the everyday writing, nothing's gonna come through apart from the ghosting, which is normal with this Tomo River paper. So let's now soak up uh, this water and we'll see what we're left with. So, as I expected, there is not much really left behind. In fact, I would say there's almost nothing left behind. It absorbs most of the ink, um, and 
you know, so I think we have to say that water resistance of this ink is very low. Now what I'm just going to do is I'm going to do a little, tiny, just a couple of little words here so you can see just the, how the ink uh, dries, um, how it goes on wet. So I'll say this is the road trip ink. And let's do a little cross hatch. So you can see it goes on sort of a nice sort of warm green and that doesn't really change so much as the ink dries it still stays nice and um, warm and you know the lighter shading lightens up a little bit but uh, just a beautiful ink so let's talk about this uh, criteria now um, so our first thing I'll do is I'll do a couple of comparisons which I've got here so uh, road trip there on the top then Robert Oster eucalyptus leaf which is a darker green but still in that sort of warmer muted sort of color range and then Oroshizuku Chiku Rin which I thought was a pretty close match but just perhaps a tiny bit more vibrant so the criteria sheen low to none none to low i'm not going to say there's no sheen because i haven't put it under like stress tests but you know like on rodeo and tomal river paper here there's nothing shimmer none shading is good so you can see in the writing sample you know that there is a you know pops of sheen uh, of a shade sorry that are quite nice indeed Bleed is, and Feather are both very, very good. Wetness and Flow is fair. It's not the wettest ink, but you can see it's certainly not a dry ink. Concentration is good. As I said earlier, it's nicely weighted. Um, dry time, fair. It's at around the 40 second mark here on Rhodia. As we said, water resistance, very low. Cleaning is good. You know, like it cleaned out of a couple of pens with not too much effort. Um, it's not a super saturated ink and it's not sort of one of these, you know, sort of um, heavy, heavy inks that take a lot to wash out. Value $21.95 Australian and $21.95, so that's from Standard Bindery, and then $21.95 US from Vaness Pens for a 60 ml bottle. Um, not so bad value, I don't think, particularly at the Australian price point. Uh, so let's do a score then. So what have we got? Somewhere for this ink, like, I find it hard to calculate things like shimmer and sheen inks because they are like X factor properties, not everyday ink properties. So following this criteria, the fact that it bleeds, it doesn't bleed particularly much or feather and it's got, you know, fairly nice flow, good concentration, you know, low water resistance and slower dry time, hmm, cleaning's good, value's okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is the actual score for this ink, given all of this, I'm going to give a 3.5 out of 5. Um, but it's a high 3.5 because it's actually a very good ink. As my personal taste on this ink shows, 4.5 out of 5, it performs well. Like in everyday use, yes, there's low water resistance, but you don't get this ink for water resistance. You get this ink, um, you know, if it, actually this ink would be lovely for some sort of artworks because it would move around nicely um, as you're creating, things like that. So it performs well in the uses that I put it under, and it's Australian, which I really appreciate. So I've given this a 4.5 for my personal use. I think this is a really, really classy ink. I really, really like it. So this was the Standard Bindery Road Trip ink. I uh, hope you found this video interesting and useful. Uh, please check out the company if you're not familiar with them. As I said, they're now these things are now available from Van Ness Pens in the US, and there are other retailers. I think Le Colon de Comte is also taking them on. Uh, so check out a few different uh, places to get this ink and check them out. Please like and subscribe this video uh, to this video on my channel. Um, stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offsage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email, which is also listed down below. Um, please feel free to get in touch if there are products you think I should be looking at or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, uh, please feel free to get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens and your ink and I'll talk to you later.